test. One, two, three. Hello. All right, cool. Um, just got sound. Oh, let's mute you guys. All right. Pop, pop, pop. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I make this louder. Uh, uh, why is it this guy? Why would you do this? It's at max. Okay, test one, two, three. One, one, okay. Yeah, um, thank you, Brett. Yes, I do know this. Um, all right. Hello. Ooh, I'm dark. Why am I so dark? Oh, let's fix that. Dun, 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 dun. Exposure. No, 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 no. There. That's better. Mm -hmm. Saturation. There. Um, all right, that looks pretty good. Let's see, do my keys work still? Two, yes. Three, yes. Very good. All right. Okay, so welcome to the stream. I am I'm Jean, and I am working on a cool little project. Uh, it's an electronic die. Uh, I encourage you to uh, check the description or the page on the stream. Um, find links to uh, a introduction video to the electronic die project that I'm working on. Um, and there's a few updates on there as well uh, that show you where we are today. Um, I'm continuing uh, picking up. I'm picking up where I left off yesterday, which was uh, fighting against RGB LEDs. Uh, that were particularly finicky to um, solder properly. Um, in fact, after the stream, I messed with it a little bit more. Um, here, I'll switch back over here. Uh, I messed with the LEDs a little bit more and, and kept continuing to have like essentially a repeat of the similar of the same issue with different LEDs over and over. So let me uh, plug it in, current version, uh, and see where we are. Uh, nothing is lining up now. What did I do? <laughs> what did I do now? Oh no! Um, yes. So um, let's uh, switch back over here and try to reprogram this puppy. Do, 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 do. Uh, we don't need this. We just want to be here. Oh, right. I was initializing a bunch of stuff. All right. So let's get back to, excuse me, um, getting, uh, checking if our LEDs work. Oh, which maybe I did f eventually sort out. Let me see. It's possible I actually had moved on to a different issue. Uh, I just forgot about it this morning or this afternoon, I should say. Uh, let's see. So I'm reprogramming the die with um, the code that just directly talks to the LED strip without going through any of the other sort of modules and components. And it looks like we have all the LEDs lit up. Um, well, that's good news. Yeah, I guess I did fin <laughs> finish uh, fixing it yesterday, although it could go out at any time again. It is a big mug. Uh, Brett, look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, wait. Look at that. Oh, Star Wars. Although the, the drink is getting cold, um, sadly. I'll have to fix that. <laughs> nice, nice uh, joke. <laughs> um, so, all right, so that's good. We uh, we have, um, you know, I'll switch over to 
uh, there we go, computer screen, perfect. Um, we have um, the LEDs working. The only thing is that now, um, when I go through the uh, standard initialization for my die, um, something else is not working. And I am, and now I'm remembering what it is. So I call this die in it here uh, inside of setup. Hopefully you can see it. Oh, you know what? I can make it bigger. There we go. Um, with, you know, the die is a class that I created that sort of holds all the modules. There's a bunch of stuff. And here you can see I'm, I'm uh, sort of debug print, uh, you know, debugging my, my initialization. Um, this console thing, you know, talks through the serial port and eventually gets reported down here. And what is happening is we are um, freezing somewhere inside the this settings dot in it, right? So I get a debug print of initializing um, when we were about to initialize the wire uh, library, which is the I score C interface to talk to the accelerometer, uh, and that seems happy. Then we initialize the LEDs. That works also. Um, then we initialize the EEPROM, which actually, what does that do? Oh, nothing, basically. Just sets an initial variable, um, internal variable. And then we actually try to initialize the settings. And what happens here is that those settings, uh, this little class settings, let me go look at it, essentially has a few uh, values. Like, you know, um, a little string and some int and float, and it wants to write those or read those from the EEPROM. And we are freezing inside the init, which all it does is call read settings, uh, which all it does is uh, call, you know, read string and re read int and read float from the EEPROM. So my guess. Yeah, this is what I this is where I, I ended up yesterday, um, which is I think somehow through my like heating up the board and like soldering stuff and desoldering stuff, I may have messed up the connections to the I squared C interface, and um, I believe that's why I'm not able to read the EEPROM. I can confirm that um, by also trying to read the accelerometer. So let's see uh, if I try to initialize the accelerometer, which is down here. Oh, that's interesting. Why is it down there? I don't know. I'll move it up. Um, and I'll try to do that instead of the settings, before the settings. Accelerometer in it. Just do a little print so we know what we're doing. Because I believe this actually also tries to write to or read from the I squared C bus. Yeah, this read register is internally a function that uses the wire interface, the I squared C interface, to uh, read data from the um, from the accelerometer. So um, let's just actually let's just try this. We're probably going to just freeze after accelerometer in it um, and my guess is that once we do it'll be because essentially we're we're in this infinite while loop uh, here in read register right we are trying we're waiting for data to be available on the i squared c bus because essentially we're like you know writing some command to the thing and waiting for it to respond and we just wait indefinitely. There's no timeout. There probably could be, you know, obviously I could implement one, but um, there isn't. And what's going on? Let's, let's uh, try that again. Oh, there we go. Accelerometer in it, and then nothing. So our suspicions have been confirmed. So now what I'm going to do is actually go uh, poke at it with the oscilloscope and try to figure out why the I squared C signals are not there. So let me unplug this from over here. 
Uh, wait, actually, you know what? Before I do this, um, I want to do something else. Because uh, the problem here is that we're going to try to send a few uh, signals, you know, like try to write a few things, and then we're going to wait forever. Um, and, you know, essentially, there's, we're not going to see anything on the, on the uh, signal lines. So I want to maybe just try to write stuff to the, uh, to the uh, I squared C, like just all the time. Let's try that. So I'll go back to, whoops, this guy. I'll turn off the die init stuff and update. And instead, I just will, I just want to initialize the wire interface. Dot init begin. There we go. And then, uh, I don't know, begin a transmission to some address. I don't know, I'll pick the EEPROM address and try to write a bunch of stuff. Where is the EEPROM? Uh, EEPROM, EEPROM, there we go. Base address 50. I'll just copy that. And I'll just write uh, inside the for loop. While... Oh, actually, I don't need, this is a loop. This function is a this whole function is a loop. Um, and I'll write, I don't know, zero. There we go. And transmission. And I think I just want to leave it. Yeah. There. All right. Let's, oops, let's download this or upload technically. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And then um, go over to the scope. All right, so let's go over here. Whoops. And plug this in. Power the scope. It's a little bright still. Maybe I can adjust. I can adjust that. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, which one was this? Is it this one? Exposure. Oh, no, that's the other one. That's the scope. Leave it like this. Is it this one? Yes. Maybe here and there. Uh, there, maybe. Okay. It's, it still washes out a little bit. Uh, now it's a little dark. Bear with me for one more sec. Too bright, too bright. Actually, let's crank it down and then back up. Yeah. There we go. Oh, now it's getting noisy. Maybe there and there. All right, well, I mean, LEDs are going to be a pain no matter what. So, all right. Uh, oh, God, there's a bunch of stuff on the floor here. Let's clean that up. Whoop. Okay. So, this is similar to yesterday, um, except I just need to find doom, 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 where to hook up my probe so there's two signals a clock and a data and hopefully we should see one of them uh, up here I believe this should be the clock there we go so if I change the scale that is not the clock is that the data this is a CL. Oh, interesting. So, let's try that again. Trying to 
hard time poking at it properly. Oh, what? Oh, maybe there's a short again. Yeah, because this does not go down all the way to zero. Huh. So can you see this in the, oh weird, there's a weird artifact on the <laughs> seal scout screen. That's kind of cool. Um, do, do, do. So I poke here, there should be, yeah, bolts. Here. Huh. So what I'm trying to poke at is right here. Oh, come on. Oh, God. This is so hard to orient properly. There. And now, oh, this way. There we go. Yeah, what's going on? I think exposure on the on the microscope is really high too. All right, you see that little text that says uh, SCL. That's what I'm trying to um, to probe, um, which should be the clock, and it should look like. Yeah, should not look like this for sure. All right. Um, let's go find uh, the data, which I believe the only way to get it is on the other side. So let's flip this board over. Mm -hmm. Can I put it back on the, yeah, it's too tall. All right, well, I'm not gonna be able to Put it in my vise, but I can probe the data um, if I can remember. Oh, yes, I have a little thing here, and it's high. Interesting. Okay, it should not be high. Oh wait, no, it should be. Yes, it should be in this the. Uh, Things trying to use it, but it should be trying to use that line. Mm. Let me think about this for a sec. I could also probe both of them on this component, I believe. Uh, nope, over here. Yeah, that's SC, that's data. And, oh. And that's clock. So I'm poking directly at the. <laughs> that's when you're looking at the cable. Uh, I'm poking directly at the EEPROM here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's think about this for a sec. Do a continuity test to see if maybe the clock pin is shorted or the data or something like that. Let's try that. All right, so let's pick a ground right there and poke at the clock. It's not shorted. Um, where's VCC? I think I have VCC somewhere over here. All right, the other side should be connected to uh, logic high. Wait. Oh, right. Um, which actually is not that. It's somewhere over here. It's one of these. Uh, this one? Maybe. No, I ground. 
Uh, oh no, that's feedback. Where do I have VCC? I have VCC somewhere. Maybe I don't have a pad on this side. Oh, that sucks. But anyway, I didn't see a short to ground. SDA. There we go. And then maybe no short here either. I believe this will be one of these. Yeah, that's the power. No short there either. Um, hmm. Let's look at it. Let's just look at it. See if we can spot any, like, weird. Uh, well, for starter, there's a weird little solder ball over there. Um, it's going to be hard to show you, so just take my word for it. Uh, and there's like a weird solder ball over there too. All right, we're gonna uh, use some flux on those pins and see if that uh, helps us out. It does not look too great. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Whoop. I want some flux. I'll use this pen. Push it down in here. And then use the heavy. Oh, no, I need some water. All right. Let's just go right next to all these pins, see if we can improve the connections. All right, let me look at it. Mm -hmm. Well, that looks better. Uh, wait, there's still a thing over here. Okay. All right, let's plug it back in. Problem with these um, these LEDs is that unless you like, when they initialize, they sort of like randomly turn on or off, right? It's like they have like garbage <laughs> register values and decide to turn on. So you actually have to turn them off as soon as possible. Of course, right now I don't have any code that does that because I turned it off, turned the code off, I mean, uh, to actually tr test, you know, something completely different. But they're bright and in my face right now. There we go. That looks more like it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What did I do? <laughs> Jesus. Did not like that, <laughs> that smell. Am I am I completely wrong? Is solder solder flux conductive? I'm gonna be really like pissed to just learn that now. But this is like the second time I get a weird bit of smoke. <laughs> well, 
Well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's scrub it in. I don't know. For some reason, I always um, thought solder flex wasn't actually conductive. And um, I think uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, anyway, let's, let's try to dry this off. Thank you. Did you check, <laughs> Brett? Let's see. Can I have more light? Ooh. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's just. Um, know, just clean this up some more if we can. I wish I had some music. All uh, right. God, what, what, what? Oh yeah, I smell smoke. What the fuck? What am I doing? Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that. No clean flexes are apparently conductive. Yep, that would be um all right. Well let's um let's clean this no clean flux. Properly this time. Next, that's exactly what I have. No clean flux. And it doesn't say anything, so maybe it is. How about this one? Liquid warning. Nope. Neither of my two uh, flux pens say anything, so. Dun, dun, dun. All right. All right, I'll just let it dry for a minute. Uh, we'll switch back over to the code because I, I believe I saw it working briefly. And so while uh, it's drying off, I will uh, work back on the code. Um, and assume our initialization is going to work. I'll put this back on. Don't need this. Want this. Uh, I'm not going to worry about Bluetooth yet. I just want to make sure that everything, excuse me, initializes. In, initializes. Yes. Uh, EEPROM, accelerometer. Mm -mm. Yeah, this kind of makes me think that I should do something to um, test whether, you know, like the, the interfaces work. <laughs> um, let's, let's see. So if we go to init, um, maybe we can actually just go read something but with like a timeout. Can I pass in a timeout? Doom, 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 doom. I have no idea how long I should wait. 
Buffer. Yes, I that's okay. Oh, cool. Thanks for checking, Brett. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's exactly right. I have a, I have both. I also have some. I mean, the 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 pens I've been using are actually supposed to be no clean, but I still use the cleaner. Um, I also have some that is regular. Supposedly, it would work better, but that you have to clean. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have a a way to dispense it <laughs> yet, so I have to. Uh, Get a little like plastic bottle or something. Um, all right, so talking about this, I want to do one of these reads, but with a timeout, and I don't know if I actually want to change any of these. I'll just um, create a new function. I think you know, read timeout or something. Uh, read byte timeout because I don't I don't think I want to constantly be checking for a timeout. Um, most of the, you know most of the time it's going to be fine or you know I'll be um, whoops I'll be you know or just not going to work and in which case I need to go you know debug something. It's not like a failure to read from any of the devices is a recoverable error, right? So it's not like I really want that to be handled cleanly at any point in time other than when I'm making sure everything works. So I think this is a decent, um, you know, uh, a decent compromise. Uh, so I don't care about this. Uh, I'll, I will leave this. Oh, I need to go declare that, don't I? Eat from read byte. Oh wait, no, that's right. Read byte timeout. Okay, that's great. And then, so I do all the same stuff as before, but the only difference is here. Um, and I guess I don't actually want to return the byte, huh? Instead, I want to return bool and take it byte. There we go. So. Set it to FF by default. Actually, no, don't don't touch it by default. Um, out by read, return through. Um, yeah, I'll do this. All right, uh, into millis. Uh, equal millis. There. If uh, what is it? If millis minus start greater than time out correct yes then I'll just want to break I know I don't I want to do this right cool right false no actually the opposite true Uh-huh. 
If so, we're gonna read minus start. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, what what's wrong here? Oh, right. Cool. And then we'll use that inside in it itself to see if we can read something. Uh, byte ignore. If read timeout, I want address zero. And I don't know, one second? That's long. Even one second is way long. Um, ignore. Then, whoops, console print line error initializing. Oh, you know what? I should return a bool. Hey, how about that? Wee. There. Ah, oh. here, even better. <laughs> there. I believe that's correct. Timeout, yes, true. If we read, it's true. If we, while we don't have data available, we do this. If it's been too long, we set it to false. Um, yes, return red, blah, blah, blah. Cool. All right, let's try that. Let me grab the, whoops, grabbing the, the board from over there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Actually, you know what, let's go back here and see if it's going to blow up again somehow. It still feels wet. What the hell? Uh, okay, let's use some paper towels. Jesus. Yeah, I saw smoke again. I'm over here this time. <laughs> I really wish I I understood this. Um I have to say, I saw a little bit of 
like flux seep out of underneath of one of the chips. So maybe that's what's going on actually. Yeah. I'm gonna, oh, this is cold now. <laughs> no better and still getting a little bit of smoke <laughs> god damn it oh yeah thanks uh <laughs> gaser six i'm not gonna blow torch it but actually i think i'll use the heat gun <laughs> uh just a little bit maybe it'll help Oh yeah, look at that. I'm seeing some evaporate. Mm. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Should have should have thought about that. <laughs> Just keep it pretty far because it is hot. Cool. All right. Hopefully this is better, and we can see. Well, the LEDs are still freaking out, and I don't understand why. Oh, wait. Uh, well, that's new. Let's just try it one more time. Come on, buddy. Ow, fingers are hot. Eh, this thing's tiny. All right, let's put that over here. All right, so. I was just noticing as it was freaking out, um, these LEDs here, the 3.7 volts, uh, which is the battery voltage, um, which when it's plugged into USB is generated by the chip that's right over here, um, isn't, uh, wasn't lit up. And then of course the 3.3 wasn't either. So like something was wrong with that chip over here. Um, let's see if we get, you know what, let's put this back in here. This just makes things slightly easier. There we go. Nope, same thing. It's not turning on. Man, this thing is giving me so much grief. <sighs> like seriously, like just a minute ago, not a minute ago, but like 10 minutes ago, it was turning on, the LEDs were happy, I was bragging about how awesome that was. <laughs> and then it decided to hate me. <sighs> All right, let's look for shorts again. <laughs> yeah, I know, the, the, uh, the blinking is super weird. All right, so, oops, sorry. So first things first, battery is it shorted somehow oh god <laughs> i think it is let's try that again uh, that would explain things so the battery and the ground are shorted somewhere on this board f u c k where Where did I do this? I'm trying to 
trying to look for like obvious things. But that is, that's pretty bad. Um, I mean, the thing is, there's like ground pins and um, battery uh, level pins on every single one of the LEDs. So if it's like a similar uh, sort of issue as yesterday where like some solder paste got in between stuff, um, then I am properly uh, fucked. Yeah. I don't, yeah, sorry. Oops. A frame here. Um, let's try to see if we can look at this and uh, on the camera somehow. Whoop. Right, so this is the last place that I, I'm trying to show you the microscope. Uh, where is it? All right, so this is the controller. This is the last place. I'm the solder iron too. Uh, trying to focus. There. I'm also holding it, so it's not really. Oh, right there. That was something that looks shoddy right there. Um, wait, no, there's a hay. I need to see if I can remember the better hay. That doesn't look so great. Let me look at that with the uh, with the uh, yep. monocle. Uh, no, it actually doesn't look that bad over here. Yeah, it's just a bit of track that is um, revealed. And it's got a little bit of solder on top of it. But then again, oh, you know what? I did. Um, I did put down a bunch of flux down here when I was. Um, when I took the, the soldering iron to it. Alright, so then first let's try and. Let's put it together. Not yet. Works even better with lots of flux. Yeah. Oh, I am messing up my mic. Is it? Is it working now? Uh, hook up voltage to the battery input and pour some alcohol on. The thing, whatever dries up first is hitting up equals short. Oh my god, that's brilliant. <laughs> I, 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 I think I might. Uh, would that really work? Yeah, I might try that actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, thanks. Don't know. I, uh... What's going on with the with the mic? Um, that's an interesting idea. I do have some alcohol here. Whoops! Ah, stop messing with everything. God, come on, stay up there. Just, just too many wires everywhere. Ugh. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's see if we're short again, really quick. Yep. 
All right. Yeah, let's pour some alcohol on this. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm 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 up for it. All right. Okay, well, I don't think I need that much alcohol. All right. Whoa! Ta ta ta! I'm not seeing anything yet. Oh, wait, no, actually, I did. This chip. The. Wait, so it's the voltage regulator, but its, it's output is what's shorted. So in a way that makes sense. Um, it's getting hot because it's trying to put down a lot of, you know, as much current as it can. But that does that. I mean, right. That I think that tells me something already new, right? I just I just checked that. It doesn't I don't. I don't know what it means. Yeah, exactly. I don't know that it means the there. It just means that it's it's between the pins that it you know, that it should be shorted. Yeah. Ah fudge knuckers. Um alright, let's try a visual inspection again. Because otherwise, what am I going to do? I guess otherwise more heat gun. Um, maybe hopefully like, I don't know, a bunch of flux and a bunch of heat everywhere and a bunch of prayers. Because I would hate um, to have to scrap this uh, dev board. Incidentally, I'm going to get uh, the next version of this board in a couple days. I just got a, a notice that it was in the post or in the mail. Um, mostly the same, uh, but with you know a few fixes uh, to like the botches I have over here on you know with the yellow wire and the red wire and um, a few components that I removed because I don't need them anymore on the bottom. Um, and I also adjusted the position of all the LEDs. Uh, a, few, a few more things like that. So I'll probably be assembling that uh, later in the week. Oh, you know what, at this, no, there's definitely something going on over here. I'm seeing a lot of dark right here. Yep. This is not good. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Put it in front of the webcam. Does this work if I put it here? No? My Q-tip, it's too bright. Ah, uh, you can't see. It's actually dark. It's just overexposed. Um, yeah, the microcontroller chip over here is not happy. No, no, it does. 3.3. And in fact, this one is outputting 3.7 to simulate a battery because ultimately it'll be using um, this battery here. So essentially there's two regulators on this board. There's a, because this is the dev board when it's plugged into the five volt, um, there's a 3.7 volt regulator that then gets fed to essentially the, the battery terminals um, to emulate this. And then there's another one, another one on the board that is 3.3, uh, but that one is fine. Um, I think it might be, I don't know, I'm just, I don't understand why there is a, um, a lot of dark right over this pin over here, which should have 
nothing to do with battery voltage like the there's a there's some dark on the microcontroller here but the microcontroller is only supposed to receive 3.3 um all right let's try that again one more time nope uh, how do I track down this short Ugh. I mean I've had to yeah essentially yeah, scrap Have. <laughs> here I have how many 21 um, yeah 21 22 23 uh, candidates for shorts <laughs> like every single LED could be making a short between ground and battery it's actually very likely it's one of the LEDs uh, the regulator could also be do gen uh, generating a short and the uh, wireless charger chip could also be generating a short so bleh, yeah oh 24 there's also the uh, magnetic swi switch magnetic switch um, reading a thing does it also show when you pull the USB dongle out oh yeah I'll try um, hmm. it did right I was testing it plugged out do, do, do. Yep. Yeah. Um. So here, let me keep looking at it. See if I, I notice anything. But you know, like I said, I think my next attempt is just, yeah, flux and heat. There. I do. I have. Um, I don't know if you've, uh, guess or if you've, um. Uh, or if you were here yesterday or whatever, but I was I was talking about the those um, APA 102s, the um, RGB LEDs. I essentially have footprints that are too I made footprints that were too tight in a sense, like tolerances that were just too tight. Um, that unless I position them perfectly, uh, they can easily short out. Uh, and yesterday I spent most of the stream essentially dealing with that. But it was most of the time between that like ground and one of the data pin or the data or the clock. Um, it was never between ground and power. But today seems to be my lucky day. I mean, these look like awful solder jobs <laughs> when you look at it this closely, uh, but that's kind of normal. Um, not seeing a short. All right, hold on. So yesterday, wait, not yesterday, earlier today when I was putting heat to this, what did I do? I put heat to something. I'm trying to remember now. Oh yeah, no, I just took the soldering iron to this chip over here, which again, shouldn't be an issue. Um, All right, nothing here. Nothing here. Well, yeah, I guess we're gonna do that, huh? Just put some heat to it. Looking everywhere, like if there was like something else going on. But no. Yeah, solder blobs, 
solder blobs, solder blobs. Uh, no, that looks fine. Man, it's so, yeah, it's crazy. When you look at it this, this closely, like, everything looks completely wrong. <laughs> like, all the LEDs are, like, crooked or offset. Um, but I'm not really seeing nothing obvious oh yeah this LED is chipped but again I'm not sure that that looks like it's just the glass or whatever it is. Um, all right. Yeah. Heated it. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Uh, actually, yeah, 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 I guess I also. Yeah. You can check the regulator with our beep thingy. Yep. Just check its output. Although, when the whole thing is shorted, you'd never know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, would, I, I really doubt it's the the regulator to be honest um, it is easy enough to desolder but it it looks clean I, I'm I'm these LEDs so actually I will use the flux that I don't um, mm-hmm Really have a dispenser for, and then I will use some of the cleaner afterwards. Okay. Bleh. <laughs> Smell. Oh yeah. This thing, just covering everything. Yeah, it's very different from uh, the uh, no clean flux. All right. Um, should I take a soldering iron to it or just a heat gun? I don't know. Let's try the heat gun. Oh, the smell. That is not pleasant. So I need to um, get some more over here. Yeah, this is either going to work or it's going to ruin everything. Honestly. Because... It's gonna like make shorts or you know and <laughs> have the opposite effect. Oh the smell. Whew. Yeah, that is not it's not pleasant. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, bubbling. So you put it on 350 for 20 minutes, <laughs> then you take it out of the oven, and um, then you can saute your chips for a little bit longer till it gets a nice golden brown. <laughs> uh, you know what's funny? Actually, I do have a small um, toasting oven that I've used to uh, uh, re uh, solder stuff. And it sort of works. Um, the first time I completely I fried the board, it was like dark brown. <laughs> uh, but then I actually got a, uh, a thermo uh, couple thing. Um, 
and made a board like this. These boards, it's kind of a pain. I can't really do that because they're two-sided and I don't have, you know, like if I put components on one side and then reflow it and then try to, you know, reflow the other side, it would melt. I mean, they would like de, you know, de, whatever, desolder. Um, also, I have no idea how long I should be doing this. So I'll just uh, leave it. All right, that's probably good enough. And now we will clean. Yeah. <laughs> it is not healthy. I can believe that. I don't usually do this. All right. Uh, now we clean. Or we wait, actually. Yes. Ugh. All right. Oh, there's a comment on YouTube. Let me go check it. Really? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm break everything. Ugh. There you go. Ugh. Hello, Tino M. Um, <laughs> is some wait wait is someone watching too much? Lois Rosman repairing. Appel PCBs. I'm not sure who Lois Rosman is, <laughs> but um, I'm guessing it's a YouTuber who does like electronic stuff. Um, but yes, all right. So let's clean this up. Some proper flex remover. Oh yeah. Oh, this is still really hot. Yeah, this is a mess. It's very different than um, the no clean flux because it's definitely making a mess. Also, um, yeah, definitely plus one on the uh, the fume extractor thing. This is not not healthy. Not in <laughs> the alcohol to find short. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check him out because that's that sounds you know kind of clever. All right, let's see. Let me clean this some more. Hopefully. Um, you know, we helped. We made. We didn't just make things worse. Uh, let's grab another Q-tip. Anyway, I wish I could just, um, yeah, have some blinking LEDs and, uh, you know, show you some cool animation code and all that kind of stuff. But instead, you get to watch me desperately try to clean up this board, so I can try to. Um, revive it um, seems to be sort of a constant <laughs> of this of the streams it's like today we're gonna do some amazing stuff I'm gonna show you how this all stuff works and blah 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 all I got to do is this one tiny little thing you know and then two hours later well now we've desoldered the entire board and um, I hate my life <laughs> so um, but yeah, I'm excited about getting, um, you know, the flexible PCB versions of this. So like I said earlier, I'm going to be getting, uh, a, essentially a new prototype board later this week. Uh, and I'll be able to hopefully solder it, uh, successfully and, uh, make sure that you know the the latest the last changes I made are all good that um, you know everything works again and then I will be sending out uh, the order for making some uh, flexible ones and the, with the you know the, the 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 purpose being putting the flexible ones inside the the cases and actually making the the real thing the real dice I'm going to make several dozens um, 
just because like making only essentially there's almost no cost difference between making 10 boards or making 50 <laughs> which is sad but you know it's like the fixed cost of, of making uh, of getting these PCBs made there's no service that does it as cheaply as uh, what Oshpark does for um, uh, Oshpark does for uh, you know hard PCBs like this and so you have to, you know, there's always a, a fixed cost that you sort of have to absorb. So anyway, I'll be making a few dozens and hopefully, um, you know, find people that are interested in uh, getting them from me to actually start writing some, um, you know, some test apps and stuff. You know, I'll be making all the all the code or rather updating all the, the the repos and stuff so anybody can actually start making uh, or try making stuff that uses the dice it will be nice it will be nice but mostly i'm just excited to actually get a uh, you know get it back in the uh, actual dice form just like i have you know for the the previous version right so this was like version one um and they're okay but they have several issues um <laughs> least of which or not least of which is that if i bump them too hard um they reboot because <laughs> the the battery connections are get loose because they're not i can't you know because i'm not using rechargeable batteries um i can't solder them in and so I have like little contacts, but uh, as much as I try, I just can't get them to like really stay on properly. So um, yeah, I just wanna, I'm just anxious to get started on the next one. Grr. Louis is a MacBook repair guy. Oh, I see, got it. Yeah, so this flux uh, sucks. <laughs> I don't know if it worked, but it's definitely a nightmare to clean. Either my flux remover is the wrong kind. Let me see. Uh, flux remover for PC ports for removing rosin flux and magnetic residues from PC board. Is this not a Rosen Flux I purchased? Rosen Flux, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I need some better tool or something. Um, Cause it feels like it's just sticking. Maybe it's like you wash it with this. Maybe, ah, maybe that's it. Like you bathe it or wash it. And it just sort of like takes the flux with it. I don't know. Maybe, actually. <laughs> Maybe that's the trick. Anyway, we're gonna bathe this thing. I'm making such a mess. That's okay. Oh yeah, I think maybe that works. All right. Da, 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 da. Okay, come on. There. Yeah, it's like it's in my hands. All right. I'm gonna let this dry for a minute. Um. Ugh, so filthy. Oops, excuse me. Let this dry. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Be right back. Oh wait, you guys can hear me. Ah, <laughs> oh, still sticky. Mm -hmm. All right, and while this dries, we'll get back to some code. 
and um, right, so we have this read by timeout stuff. That's all great. Um, our initialization code. Uh, well, really, I need the thing to work for me to be able to test that. Uh, yeah, that sucks. That <laughs> sucks. I can't test that. Uh, whoop. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's try to dry it off then, because I just yeah, I can't really do anything. Take this thing, see if it helps. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, it's definitely evaporating, which is nice. Oh uh, yeah, it's weird. It's like it leaves a, a weird residue of some kind. Yeah, I don't know. This is super weird. Worky, worky, worky. Worky, worky, worky. And after that, we'll use some compressed air for good measure. I mean, we all know this is a Hail Mary, really, but hey. Maybe, maybe it'll work. Let's see. Okay, let's beep. <laughs> Could not work. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> this is what this board is saying. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. All right, well. We're desoldering. So, I'm going to desolder stuff one at a time. And we will start by, we will start with the um, voltage regulator and go from there. All right. Um, where's my yeah, tweezers? All right. Heating it up. It is hot. There we go. Man, this thing works nicely. Okay. I need it closer. Alright, hold on. I gotta move stuff around here. I need the. Okay. Alright. Uh, test, testo, automatico. Uh, it was not the, <laughs> not that. Um, I'd be, maybe that's this capacitor? No way. Well, let's try it. Um, I don't know if this will work. Let me just use the iron for this. So I'm desoldering the big capacitor. You are trying to, because it's... 
Not super convenient. Trying to heat both pads with this thing, but. Ugh. It's making the capacitor hot. I can say that. I feel that. Come on. Right. Screw it. Just use some. I'm using solder wick instead, just try to suck up the, the solder from this capacitor and uh, <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Okay. Really? Ah, everything's sticky. <laughs> I'm not going to use this flux anymore. Didn't help, and it made everything sticky. Come on, get it. Damn it. All right, let's try something else. Come on, I gotta be close. Yep. Come on, buddy. Get out of there. Ow! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Try to use this again. Maybe. Let's see. Put it in front of the thing. Hot. Hot. Oh, come on. It can't possibly be this hard. It's like melting the. Oh, no, it's just the flux still. There we go. Jesus. All right. Oh, look at that. It's still smoking over here. What is this? It's more flux. More flux. Here, let's um, use another one of these. Soak this up some before we do anything else. Not even sure where it was. Was it like inside the connector? <laughs> Must have been. Must have been inside the connector. All right. Testing, testing. Oh, not the capacitor either. All right, we're over two. Put that over here. Put that over here. All right. We. Are desoldering LEDs. Uh, just because I have this, I don't know, these have been causing me uh, trouble, like the five face and the six face uh, lately. I'm going to start with those. Oh, you know what? Uh, before I do this, RL. Boop. There we go. This will be nicer. Take this guy. All right. Um, yep. Start with this. Hopefully you guys can see. Oh, that's one. Haha, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do a, 
I'm gonna rig up something so I can test because <laughs> this is gonna be a repeat, rinse and repeat kind of thing. So I'm grabbing some alligator clips. Uh, is this right? Yep, two alligator clips that I can tie onto here, tie onto here. I here. Yay! That's annoying. Oh, it's embedded in there. Um, all right. And we don't stop till it stops. Is this really annoying? I hope not. <laughs> Okay, it's annoying. Ah, oh, that broke the chip. Oh, broke it again. All right, still shorted. I hope it's not too annoying for you guys, but. Oh! <laughs> I got it! <laughs> Seriously. No short! No way. So, well, I don't know if you can see this. Um, where is it? Where is it? There. This was the one that was causing us trouble. Of course, it's off now, but you can see the burn mark. Yeah, actually, you can, right? Can I zoom in further? Uh, maybe closer? Can I get it closer? Oh, it's so hard to get it. No, this way, no. This way. Sorry, like the low frame rate and um, the fact that it's upside uh, upside down. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this looks like it was the culprit. So yeah, you can see those pads. Um, where are they? Do, 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 do. There's my tweezers. Um, so the pad, uh, I'm looking through the, yeah, this pad here. All right, so there's two pads in the middle um, that are connected to one to ground and the other to VCC, but there's also two pads on the side, like this one here and this one here, that are connected to ground and VCC. So my guess is that these two shorted, the middle one and this one and they're you know I don't know one's ground and one's VCC and because the LED was maybe crooked or a little bit of um, flux made it I don't know who knows right uh, so let me uh, clean this up and then resolder shit <laughs> I mean stuff all right so this one's dead move it over here uh, and you know what I'm just not gonna take a chance I'll use new ones Sadly, but I have, you know, an entire roll of them. Um, they're not super cheap, but um, yeah, for this, it's worth the uh, worth the money just to make sure I'm I put down a good LED. All right, that's, nope, that's not clean yet. A little bit more. Whoa. Oh, yes, of course I'm making a connection. <laughs> there you go. Cause I'm just cleaning. Just, just hold on. Just making sure there's, you know, no solder where there shouldn't be. All right, that looks pretty clean. Let's, uh, let me show you. Let me show you. Whoa. Uh, doop, doop. Oh, this way. There we go. So that's cleaned up now. Um. Ugh, so, so one. I, I ended up removing three total, so that's not too bad. Um.
All right. So, um, yeah, let me start with, oh, I shouldn't have used this on here. I really shouldn't, because this is making my, even my brush all messed up. All right. Cool. Let's see if we can get back to uh, a, a good a good place. Uh, anyway, I'll leave this connected. I don't think there's any. Uh, actually, that will tell me <laughs> if I'm shorting stuff as I'm uh, soldering it. So let's grab three LEDs. Whoop, there we go. And a little bit of solder paste over. Oh, I was trying to clean this, wasn't I? That's dirty. That's dirty too. This is clean. Okay. Um, a little bit of solder paste. Yeah, let's make it a little warm so it'll flow nicer. And uh, just so we can put it down here. All right, sorry. So putting it a little bit of paste right in the corner. Just enough to try and make one tiny connection. Oh, that's too much. There too. And oh god, that's also too much. All right, solder. Let's grab one of these chips. Heat. Come on, stuck. Stick. All right, this one's stuck. Number two. Oh, no, this way. Ah, made a short. Oh, wait. Oh. Damn it. Come on. Stick. Let's see, is this right? Oh, yeah, I know you guys can't see. I need to fix this. If I put the camera further down. But looking further in this way, uh, hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to fix that so it's still straight. But that's hard. So when I've got my head right here, you can sort of still see. Yeah, I'll have to move it somewhere else. Um, all right, do, do, do. okay, so we have two, let's put number three. Now number three should be facing the other way. Oop. Right there. And I'll 
also hopefully not cause, cause a short. Okay. Alrighty. Let's put a little bit more flux on mm -hmm. the sides over here. So hard to get out. Not flux, I meant uh, solder paste. But we don't want too much because we don't want to just repeat our mistake. We need to learn sometimes. Um, let's use uh, maybe this to like get some of it out. Move some, but take some there. Let me put some there. I don't know that I'm really putting anything, but I took some off. And then we'll take the no we'll take this whoops. We'll take this solder and iron. And try to get everything. Boop, boop, boop. This is happy. This seems happy. going to use flux again but not oh interesting oh well, I guess the tip of this is conductive too <laughs> let's clean that tip as a matter of fact I'm oh yeah you can see right yeah kind of I'm using a thing to, to remove any sort of particles from the tip of the iron the solder likes to stick to it. Um, all right, now no clean flux. <laughs> and this time we'll use the big iron. Okay, it's just the iron. Okay. All right, and then we can put back our um, regulator. Oh, you know what? I need to clean that. Those pads too. So, can I zoom in? I can't zoom in. I'll try to figure that out for next time. Um, you know, maybe there's a... Yeah, 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 I know. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Stop complaining. All right. Uh, and let's grab our little guy. Put it back on here. Okay. Uh, nope, it's upside down. <laughs> like, oh, that's weird. Pins don't go on the board. All right. There, we'll put... All right, so this one we'll do old-fashioned way. Uh, I'll use um, solder, which I have right here. Put some solder on one pad. There, and then grab my component, solder one pad in, and then do the others. Heat. Come on, heat up. Oh, maybe 
just the okay. So yep, one, two, three. Let's try that again. And there we go. Let's just do that one again. There we go. All right, we have that. Um, Capacitor looks fine, all right. So let's put this puppy back in as well. Right there. Uh, for this, I need to go to the other side. And solder from, solder it from the underside. Uh, let's use this one. <laughs> and then we pray. Yeah, 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 yeah. Calm down. Okay. Well, what do you think? <sighs> I don't know. I'm worried about this. But um, maybe it'll work. <laughs> we can get back to uh, writing some code right because now <laughs> hopefully it works again and also the i squared c bus works because that was how uh, you know we started today with a non-working i squared c bus and trying to uh, fix that somehow cause everything else so it's just yeah it's just those those leds are just so finicky okay so i have been scrubbing this um <laughs> all right moment of truth oh wait no i need to plug in the thing there we go uh, there, oops, in there, and, oh, <gasps> yes, so definitely all the LEDs are working, I mean, not the LEDs, all the, the, there's no short, <laughs> that's really all I needed to, I wanted to show, so that's progress, and um, next I want to see if my Escort C bus is alive, specifically the clock so i'm gonna grab my probe again all right so i'm gonna move this back out of the way so you can see the scope hopefully there oh, there um grab my s probes over here ground it got a ground and let's poke at SCL. There we go. If I zoom out, there we go. We've got a beautiful clock. This is great. All right, so we are, uh, well, you know what? Let's just, while I'm out here, I'm here. Let's check SDA, which is the data pin. Yay, we got data also. Cool. So now we should be able to um, uh, get back to the computer and the serial interface and check whether everything is initializing correctly. So then we can get back to um, writing code for the animation stuff. Boop, boop, boop. over here and let's look at our serial come connect nothing what um, hold on <laughs> hold on it should reboot it is not rebooted why you no know reboot 
or why you know talk to me um, uploader port is come 10 viewport monitor can I oh it's because I'm not I'm an idiot because I, I changed the the firmware code to not actually oh no I do do I'm not sure what I'm doing Oh, I have the old code in on the board. Okay. And now, so now if I go here, hey, yes. All right, so we have LED in it, EEPROM in it, accelerometer in it, settings, BLE. All right, all this is all good. The question is, doo -doo -doo -doo, why are my LEDs not on? So, <laughs> now we're back to, hey, the LEDs are not. <sighs> All right, so let's do this. So, now I am using the code that just talks directly to the LED strip. Tries to set all the LEDs to some red value. And we'll see if that works. And nothing. <laughs> and I want to die. <sighs> why? Why, 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 why? Oh, I know why. Ah! <laughs> okay, that one's an easy one. Here, uh, let me show you. Doop. It's because... Zip. Um, <laughs> it's because uh, this whoops, right here, this light yellow wire desoldered. So um, I just need to solder that back in. Uh, this is good. This is good. This is an easy one, hopefully. All right, so I'll just solder that back in here. Whoops, nope. Solder that back in here. There we go. Get, uh, yeah, get back. Oh, you know what? I can just plug it in right here. We can see if it works. One, two, three. Nope, not yet. Hmm. What's going on? The other side fine, yeah. Uh, next question. Okay, so next step, <laughs> more debugging. So um, I'm gonna do the same thing I did for the I squared C, which is make the the strip just try to update all the time, which you're seeing me, I just uncommented this code right here. Um, oh, it didn't upload. Oh, wait. Oh, well, that's, that's a different thing. Yeah, it was, it just told me like, fail, fail, fail. There we go. So we have partial <laughs> success. <laughs> So we have an LED that's not working. Um, it is on the five face. So let's go um, check it out and see why. All right, so now we're basically back where I was yesterday, which is fighting with the LEDs and uh, trying to get them to light up. Oh, the piano addict. Oh, hey, you were here yesterday, thanks. Uh, yeah, weren't you yesterday? <laughs> so, all right, so I've been um, uh, working on these LEDs over here, uh, which is essentially where I left off yesterday, trying to uh, get all the LEDs to light up so that I can then get back to um, 
working on the code to actually make animations with all the LEDs and everything. And um, the last uh, several hours, <laughs> basically, just been, uh, last couple hours, I've just been debugging shorts all over the place. And it seems like there's probably another short again, um, because only eight LEDs are lighting up. And so um, essentially, right, I'm just going to check if there is a short between, you know, one of the pins and ground, which seemed to be the common thing that happened yesterday. And then try to reflow, you know, some of the solder to, you know, all this again to try and get those LEDs to work properly. So where's the data on this? Data comes in here. Uh, does it? Wait. Is this are short. Ah, uh, yep. This one is shorted to ground right here. So that's the problem. Okay. Now the nice part about this is that it can only be one or two places. Uh, and my guess is it's the. It's either this LED that it's not lighting up or the LED before it that um, has the short. And it looks like it's the LED before it. So let's just try to uh, get this sorted out. I need some flex or something. Just resoldered um, all those three LEDs. Hey! All right. Now let's just do a quick test. Short to D short. Whoops. Sorry. Ah. All right, here's a ground. And this. Is it this pin? Ah, no short. Good deal. All right, uh, let's plug this in, see how we are doing. And, oh, that's worse. <laughs> what the hell what did I do? <laughs> I hate my life so much. <laughs> this is, yeah, so. This is what's been going on for like, yeah, since yesterday. Fix one, break another. Fix the other, break another. And I swear, it's like all these pins are just like tenth of a millimeter away from, you know, causing a short. So hopefully in the next version, uh, I'll have more clearance and actually the pins um, will be connected when they need to be which means um, yeah this this I'm gonna have these these uh, these shorts all the time also the next next version which will be the flexible version will be professionally assembled so all these LEDs will be you know perfect spots Oh, wait, no, oh, that, that pin, that, this pin, I mean, this is ground, right, is it, yeah, it's ground on all the, all of them, should be this one too, right, yeah, okay, um, this one's not shorted, this one's fine, uh, stop, oh, maybe this one is shorted, let's look, Mm, I'm not seeing it. Not seeing it. But you know what? I'll put some. I'll put some heat to it. And to this one, in fact, because why not?
glasses back on. Whoops. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you just you joined just at the right time. <laughs> yes, you did. You didn't. You didn't miss anything. I mean, technically, we made slight progress, and then we uh, <laughs> regressed a lot. Hey, look at that! They're lighting up now. So, but that's you know, yesterday. Yeah, I was basically like, oh, look, it works. I take it over, which is what I'm doing right now, to the computer so I can, you know, get back to programming stuff. And then it just stops working, <laughs> basically. So let's see. Should light up at least. All right. So it's lighting up, which is good. And now uh, let's uncomment this again. Oh, oh, it's freaking out. It's freaking out. Look at that. So that's a bad sign. Oh my god, what's going on? I think maybe there's a bad contact still. It's typically, this would mean like data is not getting quite right all the time. And I am constantly rewriting this yellow color, so when it starts freaking out, it's probably because, right, something is not quite right. Oh well. Um, for now, I'm going to pretend that everything is perfect. Oop, oh, comment this. Uh, leave this die thing just in it properly. Comment this out and upload. Success! Oh, and the one LED is actually something I wanted. Uh, if I look and die in it, it does all the stuff. And at the very end, it sets an LED. Oh, you know what? I should do this during the init. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, is light up the six face at every stage. Can I do this? Yeah. Let's do this. So, um, I believe it's face five, LED zero. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. It's going to be fun. All right, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to light up all the LEDs as every, every, at every step of this, um, just because. And I'll do the, I'll init the LEDs before the wire interface, because I don't need it. Uh, so I'll init the LEDs. Clearly, I want this to be green. Then, um, after I initialize the... Oh, wait, I forgot. I need to move this up here. Yeah. And this down here. Uh, and then, after I initialize the LEDs... Uh, well, actually, as I'm doing it, I will set the uh, second to yellow as it's initializing and then if there's an error I'll make it red. Uh, what I like about these live streams is that you can really get a sense of how much time and effort these projects actually take. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Thank you. Um, yeah, and it's, you know, also like not all the uh, exciting stuff, which, you know, depending on um, depending on how, who you are, you, you kind of enjoy like the um, the nuts and bolts and the, the grime <laughs> of like figuring out all the little details as opposed to just like, hey, this is the thing I did and you know, and it's awesome and it works this way and it was perfect and it didn't have any problem ever. Say no one ever. Um, all right, so yeah, if you like electronic um, streams, I highly recommend uh, Micah Elizabeth Scott. She's really, really good. Way better than anybody I know. Um, 
She's like a true hacker. Uh, just Google her. You probably already know about her. Um, and she, yeah, she, she does like equal parts programming and, and electronics, and it's all amazing. Oops. Um, That's like one of the streams that I just watch all the time. All right, let's see if this um, BLE in it. Right, so the idea here is that an LED turns uh, green when the system is initialized. It's yellow when we're starting to initialize it. So technically I could just move it like this, make little groups. <laughs> There we go. Um, and my guess is we, we may see it on camera here um, only because it's trying to output to the console. I'm going to guess that normally uh, we wouldn't see it because it would just happen so fast. We're just like, boop, it's on. Cool. All right, so let's try this. Hopefully, the you know everything still works. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll type in the. Uh... <laughs> see, I didn't even see it. it's all green. Yay! Awesome. Let's let's try again. Um... <laughs> let's let's try again. Connect. Will that reset it? Oh yeah, I saw it flash quickly. Um, probably not going to see it on camera. Yeah, it's super, super fast. Uh, here, let me type in um, Mike uh, Elizabeth. Oh, actually, uh, look for Skyline. Uh, Skyline.org, I think, is our website. Um, She has a cat and she's building like the most insane contraption to film her cat in her shop. It's it's amazing. Um, it's like cats and high tech stuff. It's fantastic. All right. So that's awesome. So this is working. Um, you know what? We're on a uh, we are on a. Uh, good streak here so let's initialize our Bluetooth interface maybe uh, you know what maybe actually I don't need it uh, that many so if I could just leave it keep it at six um, six LEDs for status that would be great uh, and some things I don't need uh, clearly the fact that the LEDs are on well <laughs> if they work or they don't. If they don't, you can't see them. So let's switch this to, yeah, we'll switch this one to zero. Um, then once it's done, the EEPROM and the accelerometer, we'll do both together, maybe. Uh, let me think. Settings, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll do the EEPROM and the accelerometer together. So do one. Oh, you know what? I have more than more than two colors. So how about that? Uh, then I'll do F zero F F, which is what's so just slightly more yellow, slightly less yellow, slightly more green, uh, and then. Once it's once the accelerometer is done, then it'll be on. Then the um, what is this settings? Reading the settings. Yeah, that's important. So we'll do that too. Um, Bluetooth will be three, which is technically LED number four. Um, you know what? I'll put an in between. Here, just in case. No, actually, there's nothing going on. I mean, this is the only function. So BLE init, orange, I mean, yellow, green, 
Um, and then all the different modules, which is going to come next, but let's, um, let's run this first. Come on, come on, come on! It's so bright. Can you even see the individual LEDs? Probably not, right? Yeah. Oh, also, my LEDs are not in the right order. It looks like I'll have to fix that. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay, but we got here. Yep, LED 3. Um, let's do our modules. So for we'll do FF console print modules in it. So these don't actually like actively talk to um hardware they talk to well they talk to these these other things that talk to the hardware but they so it's less it's unlikely that you know they'll individually break um it's either they're gonna work or not all right and then we'll kick off the uh, timers good um and then if everything's cool, then we'll delay, I don't know, um, 300 milliseconds. And then turn everything back off because, you know, we don't actually want everything on all the time. Um, and then just undo this and hopefully we make it past everything. <laughs> They're too bright. I need to make them. Yeah, I need to make them not as bright. I have no idea what's going on. Does it not? Modules in it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> This is not working. Did I mess up something over here? Three, four, five. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do let's do something else. If LED in it works, then actually I want to um, turn all the LEDs. I think that's a good idea. That way I'll, I can just flash them. Um, because that way, um, that way I can make sure, you know, that they're all working. LEDs set, uh, LED index I, 0x, uh, what color am I going to pick? Blue? Maybe? No, I'll just pick red, yellow, green, mm. some kind of green, RG, and maybe a little bit of blue in it, something. Uh, doo -doo. There we go. And then GP LEDs flush. Oh, yeah, I'm not playing board games tonight. Because it's Valentine's, you guys. Um, delay. Uh, let's do 300 again. And then RGB LEDs clear. Right. Mm hmm. 
Mm. Then turn an LED on the sixth face. You know. After major init code. All right, let's try this. Oh, <laughs> like, why did it not upload? Because I made an error. Because this is unknown. Um, I'll just make it 21. Wah, 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 wah. I may want to fix this in the future. Oh, yep, there's a problem. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it here. Only like five LEDs turned on. Again, same same issue. Whoop. Yep. Alright. Back to the soldering iron again. Oh. This is getting so old. Seriously. And it's like I didn't do anything, but just decided that now I wants to have a short somewhere. Over here again same deal do not understand Can I switch cameras? <laughs> hey, sorry. Here. <laughs> Forgot. All right. So anyway, I just put some more flux and the soldering iron to it. And um, I'm going to see if there's a short still. Yes. Problem. It's like it's such a pain. Seriously, such a pain. Uh, what else am I gonna try? More flux. More flux. And then some heat. And we'll see if that fixes anything. Sorry, did I, like, uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I have the thing on my shirt, and I think sometimes I uh, brush it. Um, think oh, come on. You piece of crap. All right, I'm taking it off. Taking it off. Yet again, one more. So, 
So 50-50 if that was the one that was shorted or if it was the other one. Let us see. <laughs> it was the other one. <laughs> of course it was the other one. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Okay, so clean up on aisle, whatever. Oh, it's not even on camera. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, hmm. All right, so I'm just cleaning the pads again. Um, I don't. Just I don't want to reuse the LED. If I can, it doesn't look bad, but I just don't want to take the chance to. Honestly, I'm just amassing quite a collection, but. Um, well, that's just how it is. All right. <laughs> yeah. Now, you would hope sometimes you'd catch a break from Murphy. But no. Try not to put like much at all, but again, you know, just um, repeating myself. Really hopeful the next version of the board has less issues. Nope, oh, didn't take. I have to move the camera because it's barely on screen. All right, am I? Nope. Uh, maybe like this. There we go. That's better. Hey. Hello. How are you guys? <laughs> Everything. Uh, you know. Everything going the way you want it? Because it certainly isn't here. Man. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put it down there. Get it on here. Height and space too. Let's see, it's not too bad. Okay. Next, um, you know what? Let's try with solder instead of flux for the rest of them. Um, usually, when the pads are this tiny, I can't use solder. Because it just ends up balling on, balling up on the tip. Um, but here, I'm actually using the tip um, to like deposit some of the solder on the pad. So it needs, it takes so little. And so yeah, maybe this will work. Let's see, you can still see. Okay. All right. Uh, 
don't know about this one. Let's do a quick, uh, is it shorted test? It is not shorted. How about that? That's amazing. Uh, well, at least the battery is not shorted. Something else might be. <laughs> All right. Now this one's not working, but I'm gonna guess it means this 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 side of it is wrong. All right, that's okay. We can fix that. It's also possible I messed up this side here. Yeah, I can't see when I got my big fat face over everything. Just somehow it's the most comfortable always to just like I have my face right above it. I will need to take that into account in the future. Nope. All right, let's do a quick test. Like I said, something else is probably shorted. Do, 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 do. So let's try and see if maybe this is shorted. No. This, this one's shorted. <laughs> uh, so we just won over. And we have the same issue again. All right, so next, flux. You know, no, we know the we know the the steps now. <laughs> Sorry about your three D printer. Yeah, did you sort it? Did you sort it out and figure out what it actually was, or is it dead? Well, for you know, certain definitions of dead. Um, come on, get in there. <laughs> Let's see, battery, ground, this one's fine. Is not shorted to ground. Is this one shorted to ground? Not shorted to ground. Hey, there's hope. Oh, <gasps> it flashed, it turned on, and it's done. Beautiful. Now my, uh, <laughs> now I'm, I'm just wishing that it, um, it turned on all six LEDs. Like I want to find something for it to turn on. So that's six LED. Uh, but that looks pretty good. I'm not sure what went wrong. Ugh. Yeah, it's a good call. Yeah, printing over USB. <laughs> Although, I mean, I guess if you have a dedicated machine and, you know, uh, you might be okay. But. Yeah, I can see like just from SD cards is just so much more reliable. I totally understand. All right, so we are initializing uh, our stuff. We still don't have any um, LEDs animating, but that's okay. We're getting there. Um, right, I wanted this to turn on the last LED. I think I'll just... I'll just do it here. Boop. All right, set this one to green. 
wait 300 milliseconds and then we're done all right so we should see flash and then one two three four five six as soon as it's done programming well oh because i copied the code Stupid mistakes. Yay! All right, so it's initialized. Um, could it be that all I need is to call update? That would be quite a thing. Let's see. Um, I'm pretty sure my animation code has issues, though. I um, it was working fine with the single color LEDs, but then I made a bunch of changes uh, to support color animations. Oh <gasps> no, it's working! Look, I have a face. Ah, <gasps> two! I have another face. Oh, now I broke. <laughs> so, all right. Well, there we go. Let's progress technically uh let's, let's restart that um can i reset it over here uh if i just disconnect and reconnect yeah there we go Boop. and then it's face it it shows up face four. Oh, i need to get rid of this debug um code in my led code doop -doop 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 -doop. where is it there we go don't need this oh, yeah i'll comment it because we never know um, yeah, and it's even doing stuff. Let's see. Womp, womp, womp. LED one, two, zero. Um, let's try again. Phase four is nice and bright. Phase two. Phase four. A. Hey. Six. Oh, but the LEDs are in the wrong order. You can see that. Four. Uh. Oh, interesting. The the one is red. Oh wait, no, I rebooted it. What? Why? <laughs> Why did you reboot? Something. Something's not quite right, is it? Phase six. This should be phase one. Yep. Four. And then if I somehow this is three. Well you can probably you probably can't see it. Um yeah. Four again. How do I get five? How do I get five? No, that's six. Uh, wait. That's one, two. Oh, I see. Get it. Like, well, I can't get it the other way, but I have to uh, mess with it. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be way cooler in a, you know, when it's in actual dice form. Um, and then I have like all kinds of like, colorful animations. I think it's going to be super fun. I hope to make, well, I hope to make multiple apps um, and usage patterns. But one that it, I really want to make is just a simple um, program your dice animations, like on your phone. You can just like pick colors and whatever, however complicated I, I want to make it. And then you just set the dice and then you just go on and, you know, play whatever. Um, there's no particular Bluetooth connectedness whatever but you could just play your dice and have you know the animations that you uh, put on them so I think that would be pretty cool just that and then all the rest would be even cooler you know having building some some fun games around you know playing dice uh, but with 
some interface to to you know talk back at you or whatever. Um, all right, so let's sort our uh, six face order. Yeah, look, there's a bug. Yeah, something's something's off. Like it didn't turn off this one. There's definitely definitely some bugs in the code. Um, maybe I should get you a uh, closer look at it. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can grab this, this cam. Yeah, I'll have to figure out how to make this more portable because if I can just get it over like here or something. Hold on, I will. There, there. Let me uh, add a uh, thing. Instead of this one, uh, remove, remove. No, actually, I won't remove it. I'll just turn it off. Uh, and instead, I'll add uh, video capture scope. There we go. You can see. <laughs> achievements um why not actually um I, you know i really want to leave it up to you what the dice do <laughs> but why not have achievements like unlock uh, cool animations you have unlocked color purple um all right uh hold on i'm trying to switch to check the uh brightness exposure is this the one no that's not the one uh is it this one nope is it this one no it is this one here I'm trying to get it really as dark as possible so the leds come through it's really hard um yeah it's just not Nope, saturation. Does the sharpness help? I don't know. Okay. Um, one, one, one. There we go. And let me uh, reset it. Lost connection again. Ah, oh, well, that's useful. At least now, I'm gonna, all I have to do is to see the flashing, and see that only a certain number of them flashed. Uh, which was oh, now they all flashed again. Oh, but now it's broken. It's a bad connection somewhere again. Yep. All right, back to the drawing board. I mean, back to the, yeah, Rip. yeah, there's a bad, oh my god, <laughs> it's all, it's all like all weird colors and stuff, um, bleh. all right, you know what, I need to take a break anyway, um, I will, uh, mess with it some more, um, I should be back streaming tomorrow, probably same time or earlier, in fact. Um, and hopefully, um, yeah, either I'll, I'll probably make some pro some progress debugging the animations because you know just watching me debug stuff is not quite that exciting. 
then again, watching me, you know, solder and desolder repeatedly <laughs> is not that exciting also. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep messing with this. Um, and then hopefully have some cool like animations to work on and I, we can write, we can actually write code that do that does stuff, right? Uh, rather than just track down issues. Um, I don't know. We made an initialization code, initializa initialization animation, which is kind of fun. Um, but there's so much you could do with this, right? Like uh, full color LEDs. There's tons and tons of potential. Uh, yeah. So thanks everyone for watching. Um, you know, check back again tomorrow. <laughs> code that does stuff is the best type of code. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> you know what I mean um like fun you know fun stuff like actually useful and and has you know visible results um <laughs> anyway um but yeah so you know again uh thanks for stopping by and uh i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> bye